And here is something stake. I title it Corruption. Ghana fails again. The Auditor General report for 2016 to 2020 revealed that theft, there's been theft of a whopping 12.8 billion Ghana cities. Yes, theft ought to remain the appropriate word, not irregularities, blah, blah. Who are answering for this naked theft? The E-Levy <clears throat> is looking to generate how much? Six billion Ghana cities? The SOEs, state-owned enterprises, posted a loss of almost six million cities in 2019. In 2020, they have made a loss of 5.3 billion Ghana cities. It must be troubling that these SOEs, managed by very well-paid CSOs, some said to be better paid than the president, continue to post losses, and still, these mismanagers keep their jobs. The fact is that some are square pegs in round holes who get the job only by reason of holding membership cards of the governing party. We are told that the value of Ghana's 126 SOEs is 110 billion, and that represents about 27% of our GDP for 2020. It must be troubling that these entities that have the capacity to contribute 11 billion to the national coffers are so mismanaged that they only make losses. In 2019, it was reported that 47 of them have never submitted the basic but important and legally mandated annual financial statements for five years. However, their managers still have their jobs despite superintending the impunity in violating the Public Financial Management Act. In 2019, only 14 out of the 126 SOEs met this mandatory legal requirement of submitting annual statements. So, why do we feign surprise when the latest corruption perception index shows Ghana continues to fail the test and the fight. As the Ghana Integrity Initiative invites crusaders to a meeting on Monday to re-strategize, I invite you to listen to this and play your part before it is too late. What we all need to watch and be very careful about also is that most of these people that the Auditor General accounts report shows they have been involved in this theft are not exactly politicians. They are in the ministries, departments, and agencies. We must look for them and let them face the music. Politicians who are also engaged in the grand corruption. We must fight the tyranny of the party, people, and foot soldiers who come up to defend the naked theft. And when people are put on trial, they come and shout that it is political witch hunt. The theft is just too much. And the citizens are impoverished all the time. It can't continue that way. Yes? And as revealed how this is widespread, including in the courts. But it is not the case that all politicians, all civil servants, or judges are corrupt. They are very fine ones, and they are there. We vilify some of them unnecessarily. The most important thing to do is to fish out those that have been caught stealing and punish them accordingly. If we don't do that, Ghana will continue to fail the test as we have done once again. You can't be proud of that. That is my take.